Hi again, alongside B.G. Brooks of CUBuffs.com. I'm Mark Johnson of 850 KOA Ready, your play-by-play voice of the Buffaloes. As we come up on the end of the calendar year, we look back to a very eventful 2013 as B.G. and I take a look at the top 10 moments in Colorado athletics in 2013. Coming in at number 10, what a year it was for both the CU men's and women's basketball teams. Butch, both teams making it to the big dance in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, and I think that was uh, certainly a goal for both programs. I know the women's team wanted to establish itself as a contender in the Pac-12. It came in at number three in the Pac-12, which was a major climb for them, and I think it set the tone for what they want to do in future seasons. Both Linda Lappy and Tad Boyle have done a great job building this program, of course. Now, when you talk women's basketball, Butch, in the Pac-12, Stanford and Cal are always thought to be those top two. The Buffaloes handled everybody else, in fact, in conference play. Went 13 and one against league opponents that were not Stanford and Cal. They put themselves in that top three. Now, I guess they try to get over the hump. Yeah, that's the goal for this year. I think. Uh, they open conference play this year with Stanford and Cal at home. Uh, so that's going to be a big week for the Buffs. I think uh, what they did last year, they want to build on it. The Colorado Buffalo men, of course, for the second year in a row with her Tad Boyle, went once again to the NCAA tournament. Two years ago, they made it to what is the second round, or technically the third round. This time, they get knocked out by Illinois in the first round. But yet another step for Tad Boyle and the Buffalo. No doubt. That first time for back-to-back -back tournament appearances in 50 years, so that's quite a milestone for Tad's program. And the way things have gone last year, the way things are gone so far this year, I think you know you would count on another uh, tournament appearance this year for him, but that's still out there. You know, I joke with Tad frequently talking about where he has set the bar. It's become expected that they're going to be in the tournament, and uh, certainly that was a good step a year ago, but now the bar's been set, and that's kind of the expectation year in and year out. No doubt. Tad has made the comment after several wins this year, not as pretty as they could have been. Fans leave here happy with a win, but maybe a little dissatisfied with the way things have gone. So Tad says, I guess that's progress. That's number 10 in our countdown of the top 10 moments in CU Athletics in 2013. For B.G. Brooks, I'm Mark Johnson. Stay with us this week. We'll count them down to number one.